Hey, welcome to edX world and another video in the IGCSE accounting series. The entire syllabus of IGCSE accounting has already been covered. You can check all the videos in the playlist in the order in which they have been covered in the syllabus. In this video, we're going to study an example on manufacturing account. I will show you how to prepare a manufacturing account given the question in exam. I will show you how to deal with all the adjustments. After the manufacturing account, we will also prepare the income statement for the manufacturing business and see the presentation of inventory in the balance sheet. If you want to watch a detailed video on this chapter, I will provide the link in the description below. You can or you can directly access the video from the IGCSE accounting playlist. So in this question, we have some balances given for opening date and the closing date, which include the inventory balances, some accruals, prepayments, and details of non-current assets and then we have some transactions for the year depreciation details are given how to calculate the depreciation and finally three parts of the question to prepare the manufacturing account income statement and the balance sheet extract let's begin with the manufacturing account our manufacturing account begins with the calculation of prime cost and for prime cost we need the calculations of direct material consumed the direct labor and the direct expenses to arrive at the direct materials consumed, I will start with the opening inventory of raw materials given. To that, I will add the purchases of raw materials. I will also add the carriage on raw materials. And I will deduct the closing balance of raw material, the raw material at the end of the year, to arrive at the raw materials consumed value. So the raw material consumed during the year was 211,070. To this we will add our direct wages. If you read the question, the wages of factory operatives are given, paid during the year 197,280. But there is an adjustment. The operative factory operatives wages accrued at the beginning is 1850 and closing is 1990. The opening accrual will be deducted because this is paid during the year but belongs to the previous financial year and the 1990 which is the closing accrual will be added because it is not yet paid but based on the accrual concept it has to be added while calculating the cost of production. So let us calculate the final direct wages so that we can arrive at the prime cost. So our prime cost, which is the total of direct material and direct labor, 408,490. There is no direct expense given. Let's say there was any other direct expense like royalty given. I would add that also to arrive at the prime cost, but no other direct expense given. So prime cost is here. To this prime cost, we next need to add the factory overheads, which is the indirect cost to arrive at the total cost. To arrive at the total of factory overheads, we need to consider all the indirect costs, which is indirect material, indirect labor and all other indirect expenses. If I read the question, if I read the transactions for the year, the wages of factory supervisors, 32,100, that will be factory overheads. Then we have factory insurance of 4,800, but there is an adjustment. Opening prepaid is given 760. This was paid in the previous year for the current year. So this 760 will be added to the insurance of 4,800. Then we have factory general expenses 12,700. Again, there is an adjustment. Closing accrual is given 1,100. This will be added to arrive at the final factory general expenses. Let's record these expenses and then we will go ahead and record the depreciation values. So we've recorded our factory overheads, 
except for depreciation. So for de arriving at the depreciation, uh, non-current assets here that are used in the factory are loose tools and machinery. For loose tools, it is given at valuation. So that's an indication that we have to use the revaluation method of depreciation. So the formula for calculating depreciation using the revaluation method is the opening balance of the tools plus tools purchased minus the closing balance of the tools. If you want to know in detail about this concept about the revaluation method of depreciation, you can check my video on depreciation in the playlist. And as far as the machinery is concerned, if you read a note below, it says machinery is to be depreciated at 20% using straight line method and depreciation being charged on the new assets for the full year. So if you see the trial balance given or the balance is given, machinery at cost, opening is given 60,000 and closing is given 75,000. So the question arises on which balance should we calculate our depreciation? Depreciation will be calculated on the closing balance because the, uh, the question says that depreciation should be calculated on all new assets irrespective of the date of purchase for the full year. So we will take directly the closing balance 75,000 that includes the new assets as well. On that we will apply 20% rate to arrive at the depreciation. So our depreciation is calculated as loose tools 1600 and machinery depreciation 15,000. After that, I've also taken a total of the factory overheads, which is 68,060. This factory overheads will be added with the prime cost to arrive at the total cost of factory incurred during the year. Now we cannot transfer this cost of 476,550 directly to the income statement because this 476, 450 includes cost incurred on work in progress items because if you see the question opening and closing balances of work in progress are given. So the adjustment for work in progress will have to be made so that we arrive at the cost of production of finished goods only that can be tra transferred to the income statement to arrive at the gross profit. So I will add the opening work in progress balance and deduct the closing work in progress balance to arrive at the net amount and that will be added or deducted with the cost arrive at 476,550 to arrive at the total cost of production of finished goods. So the total cost of production is 482,150. This will be transferred to the income statement to calculate the gross profit. So let's directly head to the income statement and arrive at our profits. To arrive at the profit, we need to begin with our revenues. Then we need to deduct our cost of sales. Cost of sales would begin with our opening stock of finished goods given in the question. We would add the cost of production of finished goods from the factory. If you notice, Transactions during the year include purchases of finished goods. So we need to add this also to the cost of sales. And finally, we will deduct the closing stock of finished goods to arrive at the cost of sales and deduct that cost of sales from the revenues to arrive at the gross profit. So the gross profit here we've calculated at 188,350. I hope the calculations are clear. If you have any doubts regarding any part, again, you can, uh, you can mention in the comment section, I will reply to your doubts there. Continuing, we need to calculate our net profit. For that, we will have to deduct our expenses. If you see the question, the admin and selling expenses paid during the year 91,550, but also adjustment is given. We have opening accrual of 5,110 and closing accruals of 7,820 as far as the admin and selling expenses are concerned. So we will start with our 91,550 
Add the closing accrual 7820 and deduct the opening accrual of 5110 to arrive at the final expense for admin and selling expenses. Apart from this, office furniture is also there on which depreciation has to be calculated 15% straight line again on the closing balance of 24,000 15% we will apply and calculate the depreciation only these two expenses in the expense section we'll take a total of the expenses arrive at the net profit. So the net profit for the year is 90,490. The part C requires us to show the presentation of the inventory in the balance sheet. Let's go ahead and do that. The inventory is presented in the current asset section of the balance sheet. So we will just be presenting that part of the balance sheet, not the entire balance sheet. And hence this is, also, this is known as balance sheet extract. So under the current assets inventory, we will present all three category of inventory, the raw material, work in progress and finished goods, and then show the total. So this completes our balance sheet extract also. I hope this video was useful for you. I hope you've understood manufacturing account. If you had any doubts in manufacturing account from my previous video, I hope these doubts are cleared here. Any more doubts in manufacturing account, feel free to comment below. I will clear those doubts. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Please share the video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you soon with a new video.